Hello, it's Mr Cooper here, and I'm going to talk to you about the reports for primary school. So here I have an autumn report that would have been shared with you at the end of term one. Now it's worth noting that this report shares information and the assessment of the children on the current covered curriculum objectives, which basically means everything that the teacher has taught so far this year. The language that we now use to fall inside with the UK expectations is entering, developing, securing and mastering. So this child currently is developing 25% of her mathematics skills and 75% is securing. It's worth noting that securing is what we expect children to be by the end of the year in the majority of the curriculum objectives. And underneath them we have her strengths and her next step that she needs to take in order to improve and secure some more objectives. Again, we have writing here, so she is 29% entering, 64% developing, and 7% of the current covered curriculum objectives she is securing in. And again, strengths and next steps are outlined. Now, it's worth noting that mathematics and writing, the percentages are very different. That's not because she's better at mathematics and writing. It's more to do with the way that the curriculum is delivered by each teacher. Mathematics is taught much more in chunks. So for the first three weeks of a term, usually there is a strong focus on number value and place value, followed by calculation, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And so they may teach three weeks on calculation, three weeks on place value, then three weeks on shape. And so the curriculum objectives are assessed much more in blocks. So this child is probably 75% secure in her calculation and place value. The teacher will then in term two teach other areas of mathematics such as shape, fraction, data and so on. However, writing is different. In order to write a nice piece of writing, you need to use all the different skills. And so the teacher will assess most of the skills all together. And so the percentages will move up slowly over the year. So as you can see, here in the 25%, by the end of the spring term and by the end of the summer term, this percentage may have moved over here. And the new objectives that have been taught to do with fractions or to do with data may start appearing here and here. In writing, we should hopefully we'll see this 64% moving towards securing, the 29% moving towards developing, with them being secure by the end of the year. Looking at the bottom area, we've got reading and science. Again, this child is 18% entering, 73% developing, and 9% secure. And again, the strengths and next steps are outlined. So, because this is an autumn report, in spring you should see this 73% moving over here, and 18% moving up to developing. Let me show you what the report will look like by the end of the year. Here is an example of what you will receive at the end of the summer term. So in term one, they, this child was entering at 64% and 36% of the, percent of the curriculum covered objectives are developing. Now you can see this child has made fantastic progress and in term two is 20% entering 40% developing and now they've secured 40% of the curriculum objectives. In term three, this has then moved up again to 85% securing, 10% in mastering and 5% in developing. Mastering refers to objectives where they've actually overachieved on them, so they perform even better than we expected. Securing is obviously what we expect by the end of the year. And this child has a few curriculum areas to work on, so 5% is in developing, which is absolutely normal. So below are a few questions that you may have about the new master curriculum and also the reports that are being shared with you this year. So the first question is, should you be worried if your child is yet to secure an objective? Because you've only received your term one report, it's absolutely normal for a child not to be securing any of the curriculum objectives. It means that they're working towards securing them by the end of the year. 
In term two, which will be shared with you soon, the report should identify that some of the objectives are now being secured, with the aim that by the end of term three, as seen above, a lot of the percentage or a lot of the curriculum objectives are secure. The next question says, how do I know what level my child is? Due to the new UK expectations, levels no longer exist. We work towards the end of year expectations and your child is assessed and compared to the end of year expectations. So this child here has secured 85% of the end of year expectations in term three, which is what we want them to do. How can I support my child at home? You may notice that on the report, it identifies their strengths and their immediate next steps. By helping that child to achieve the immediate next steps, you're helping your child add to their securing percentages. If they secure that next step, that will then be moved to the securing area. Will my child be ready for the end of year test? Yes, of course your child will be ready for the end of year test because the end of year expectations or the curriculum objectives are tested in the end of year tests. And so if your child is secure with their curriculum objectives, then that you can be confident that your child will perform very well on the end of year test within school. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, then please speak to your teacher. And I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.